Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, we will completely review ambient occlusion in SketchUp 2024 and I think it's the, a good tutorial for beginners and who people really want to learn SketchUp. Let's get to work. First of all, I have some simple model house in here which I downloaded from the uh, extension 3dwarehouse.com so I'm going to start my job with the effects in SketchUp, but first of all, I need to check out some viewpoints and some other things. So, if I hold the scroll on my cursor, I can orbit in my environment, and I can zoom in out or zoom in out like that. So, for example, I want to select this angle of this house, and I'm going to click on the paint bucket in here. If you want to add some styles to your model in SketchUp, you need to click on the Paint bucket. So, I'm going to close the materials in here and click on the Styles option. So, first style which added in the uh, Style Gallery in SketchUp is the Ambient Occlusion. So, when I click on it, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes. I have seven styles which related to ambient occlusion and it's related to make your edges more remarkable for your clients or employees. So I'm going to click on the first one in here and you can see we have some type of clay mode rendering in SketchUp. If you click on the edit mode in here, sorry, in here, you can change the front color and back color. As you can see, front color is something like cream and the back color is something like green. So I'm going to click on the uh, front coloring here and I want to pick up some type of clay mode rendering. So I think something maybe like that is not bad. So I'm going to click on the OK and I want to click on the back color and just the same mode of it, for example, something like that, and OK. So, if I increase the ambient occlusion distance, as you can see, when I increase it, I can see more shadows in the edges. So, it's completely visible, and you can see it in your model. But, if I come and increase the uh, intensity of it, it will completely get darker, and something like that will happen. So, I think it's really wonderful for the uh, basic presentations because most of the time you need to present your 3D model very simple and easy with all details. So, I don't want to talk about it too much. I'm going to click on the uh, select mode. Next ambient style is the uh, dark pen. And you can see the changes in here. I think it's not really bad if you want to export it as the uh, EPS and add it to your Adobe Illustrator. So, next item is the uh, detail mode. As you can see in the detail mode, only lines are activated for you, and you can see all the details very simple and easy. Next item is the exterior. I think it's completely suitable for exterior presentations, and you can use it in different type of projects. Right now, I want to use this one. So, I'm going to click on the edit mode in here, click on the align option. My profile is some number about 1, I can increase it to the uh, maybe 3 and press enter and you can see what really happened in your project. So, I'm going to reduce it to the 1 in here, go to the uh, face setting and I want to increase the ambient occlusion in here about intensity and distance which makes your shadows from edges far or near. If you increase it, it means that your shadows will be completely seen other points near to your edges. Alright, next item is the background setting. And right now, all four options are activated for us. Ground, Horizon, Sky, and Background. I want to start my job with the uh, Sky option. 
So first of all, I need to click on the camera and change it to the two point perspective. Something like that. And if I click on the uh, sky option in here, I can play with the uh, sky's color. Very simple. Something like this. And you can see the changes in the background. So in the horizon point, look at these points in here. If I change the color to something like, for example, something like violet or purple, I'm going to click on the OK. And we have these type of effects. And I think it's not really bad. You can work with it and make it better. And the ground can be get darker, for example, 179, 179, and I'm going to click on the OK. So ground activated for us. If I click on the refresh in this point, it will update my style with new changes. So I need to save it out. So I'm going to click on this option and this refresh icon will be disappear. In the uh, watermark system, we don't have any special watermark. And in the uh, modeling, if I activate model axis, I can see these axis in points in here, but I don't really like it. So everything is done and now time for the uh, exporting. We don't know how to export. So if I click on the file, export to the graphic and it will take a little bit of time. And after that, you can select your desktop. You can change it to the EPS, PDF or some other type of versions. So I'm going to select JPG, for example, click on the options and I need better quality with some resolution like 4200 pixel up. Click on the OK and export. I think everything is done and this is the exporting here. So Right now, I want to take some white glue render from this image, but I don't know how. So if I click on the uh, SketchUp again, click on the uh, Paint Bucket, Materials, click the Close, click on the uh, Styles, and I want to select Detail Mode in here, click on the Edit, Disable Model Axis, Refresh it, Face Setting, and I will increase the ambient brightness as I can. Something like this is much better than the previous render. So I will actually select this one. Click on the file, export, 2D, and I want to save it on my desktop. It takes a little bit of time and this is the new option in here. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching and goodbye.